Yo, what's good, gang? It's your freaking boy, Evan Wolchek, and today I'm gonna make some heckin' guac. But you guys are probably like, where's the freaking avocado? And then I'm gonna be like, bitch, I haven't even got that shit out yet, what the fuck? Okay, so I'm gonna get this stuff out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna get this stuff out, just, just wait. Man, what a good bit. That's such a good bit, you don't even know. Yeet! <laughs> <laughs> Where's the recipe? Yeet! Oh, it didn't. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, hold on. Yeet! Yeah, okay. Whoa, what's it coming? Yeet! Yeet! Ah, do that. I just, I just how burped. That was epic. Oh, damn. Wait, it's out of it's out, it's out of frame. Hold on. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Where? Fucking recipe. Salt, pepper, yeah. Epic, epic salt in. A big salt and pepper and stuff. I'm making a still life at this point. What the hell am I doing? Um, yeah. Salt, pepper, chipotle, cumin, cumin. I'm pronouncing it as cumin for the meme. Don't get triggered. Cumin, garlic, what else was there? It's lime, lime. I'm forgetting lime. Mm. Shut up, phone! Good to make food, shut up phone. Okay. Um I could just use a wheel line, but I don't want to. Do I have a wheel line? Those don't work that appetizing. I just don't want to cut up a new one in there. So I'm just gonna use the big shit. I'm using lime juice, don't get triggered! Where? Where? And then what else was there? I think that was it, right? Yeah, now I just need the other tools and such. Oh god, what's the vegetable cutting board? Oh god, oh no. Oh god, oh please, oh no. Oh, okay, it's behind this one for some reason. Like, why? Okay. Where do I put this cutting board, bruh? And then a bowl and a fork. Um, what kind of bowl should I use? I don't know. Huh. This is quite the conundrum. Should I use this? How big is the avocado? That's a solid maybe. That's a solid freaking maybe. Um. Where the bowl's at? Come on! Where the heck bowl's at? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they'll care if I use a leftover container. Right, I mean, I need, I need something to store the goddamn Glock anyway. I think that'll work, okay. Um, I have a fork, right? Yeah, it's over here, okay. All right, so let me move this shit because you already know what I'm, what I got, you know? And if you don't, then oh well, you're probably gonna hear um, it again and later on because I'm gonna use them to cook. Cutting board, get in frame. Hot sauce, get out of frame. I should put it right here. Okay. Um, so what I like to do is I like to take my avocado, <laughs> duh, and then, yay! 
Hold on. Wait. Oh, I did it right. Okay. Cool. And then I just like to go around. Breathe around sound. <laughs> Breathe around sound. Okay. Um. And then I just like to. Yay. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. That's a good ass. That's a good ass avocado. Oh yeah, yeah, did you, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> If you like how to basic. All right, and this is where um stuff gets real. You ready? Boom. And then you just pop out the knife. Easy, simple, done. I need a spoon. I've got a spoon. Okay, I got a spoon. Now. This is where things get sensual. You ready? I'm gonna spoon your avocado. It's gonna be great. Please, take that out. Please, someone, take that out of context. Even though most people know what the hell I'm... T even though most people watching this probably know what the hell I'm talking about. But who cares? Someone, please take that out of context. You ever just get guac that won't, um, get off the spoon or whatever? Yeah, okay, cool. Um, ah! Yeah, it looks good. Okay. And then we take the other one, do the same, do the same fucking thing, you know? You guys know how to make guac. I mean, come on. Guac is universal. I mean, I guess it is. I don't know. It might be. Yay! 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 Damn it! Okay. Ugh. All right, epic. And then, so now we got the avocado. Okay. So, <laughs> um, what we're gonna do is add the seasonings, and I forgot the tablespoons or whatever. You know these um. The measuring spoons, that's what they're called. Yeah, you know, these these things that you cook with. Okay, anyway. Oh, I almost verped. A verp is a vomit and a burp. What is it? Um, It's one avocado, but it's pretty big. Because my recipe says it requires two avocados, but this avocado is pretty thick, looking like a whole meal. Uh, yeah, so... Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do the, the, I'm just gonna do the whole recipe. Because it requires two avocados, like I just said, but this avocado is a big boy. He looks like a whole meal, so, I'm gonna just do it as it, if it was two avocados, so. A uh, quarter teaspoon of cumin, right, yep, uh-huh, yep, uh-huh. Yep, uh-huh, go on, yeah, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. a half tablespoon, te I, I, am I saying tablespoon, like, I'm combining the words teaspoon and tablespoon, I mean teaspoon, I meant teaspoon for the cumin, mm -hmm. a quarter, freaking notification, I meant to say tea, quarter teaspoon for cumin and now half teaspoon for garlic. Jesus. That was quite the stroke I had. Um, what else? A pinch of Chipotle? Yeah, I should probably cross that off, but... You know, Chipotle is not really spicy. But back then when I made this recipe, I was kind of a puss. So, you know, that's whatever. I just like to um, sprinkle as much as I can until it's like, that might be too spicy. I think that might be good. Um, yeah. And then what else? A pinch of salt. Well, yeah, obviously. Because salt is salt. Unless you feel like, oh man, um, it's not going to be salty enough, you know? But you want to over-season it, you know what I'm saying? You want to over-season anything. When it comes to salt, anyway. Because it's like, that, that shit can kill you, man. You can freaking die, man! Okay. Ugh, I shouldn't have looked at your pull out my fingers. Um, it doesn't say anything about pepper, but, you know, I just eyeball it. You know, people like their different amounts of pepper anyway. I like a F ton of pepper, because pepper is good for your soul. I think that's good. 
Um, and then a squirt of lime. Yeah. I want to say a squirt, but like a couple. You know, eyeball it. Yeah, just like... Just like that. Yeah, okay. It's pretty epic. And then this is the part, this is the fun part, ready? I'm using a fork for this specific thing of guac because if it was like more avocados or if the avocado was bigger for some reason, um, it just all depends on how many avocados you have and how big they are. So you can mash with a fork you can, or you can mash with a potato masher. I'm mashing with a fork because it's the perfect size for this um, of guac. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mash it with a fork. I'm gonna just real quick wait right here. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot my hot sauce. There's a reason I got this out. This isn't on the recipe either because, um, you know, I just like to put a hot sauce in for like a little secret ingredient. The hot sauce is a secret ingredient and it doesn't really matter what hot sauce you put in. So once you find a hot sauce that you like, then just put that in, you know, like a couple drops here and there, you know. But that just depends on the, on the hot sauce, if it's too spicy, if it has a lot of flavor or not, you know. But hot sauce is definitely my secret ingredient. Just for that little kick, you know, it's pretty great. So, like I said, I'm going to uh, mash this up. Mm -hmm. It's going to be pretty great. If it turns a little brown, that's fine, but it's not very appealing. Like, as you can see, mine's turning kind of brown. I mean, I don't know if that's registering enough on the camera, but, you know, I don't... It might be. I don't know, but it's kind of brown, but um, that's what the lime does. The lime helps it not get brown, and even if it is artificial like this, like this lime juice right here, I think it will still work or whatever. I don't know, I'm not an expert. Ask Alton Brown because he knows how to make guac. That's not a joke. I think he did guac on an episode. I don't know. Shut up. Um, okay. Yeah, if it gets like a little brown, then that's fine, but it's not going to taste horrible. You know, you just need some lime in there. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much it. I think I mashed this up enough, so now I'm going to kind of stir it with the fork, which is probably blasphemous, but I don't really give a fuck, you know? So I'm just going to do that. Alright, sick. And now for the chip test. Um, it would be called a taste test if I was just tasting the guac by itself, like a freaking schmuck. But I need a freaking chip in this B, so I'm gonna get a freaking chip in this B. Let's get it. Um, these are the chips that I have. Juanitas, they're gluten, they are gluten free apparently, but they're still good. So that's that's great. Um, yeah, these are good ass chips. You, you guys should like buy these or whatever. Wait, are these local? Ah, screw it. you. Still buy them. Anyway, here's my dank ass chip. And here's this dank ass guac going in my dank ass mouth. Yeah, that's a pretty kick ass guac. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty great. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's got a little kick. Um, doesn't need more salt. It's great. It's perfect. And that is my guac recipe. If any of y'all are planning to make this. Um, I'm gonna clean up over here and do the outro because I want more content out of this video. You know. Should we just put this in the fridge somewhere? Sick. And then this goes in the compost. I have a compost. That's pretty great. Yeast. Uh, needs to go in the sink. I'm gonna wash them off. Just a bit here. Uh huh. 
Yep, this is my spoon. I'm gonna do the same. It's gonna splash all over me because that's how spoons work. God damn it. Alright. And then this is the cutting board. Gotta clean that off too. Alright, it's pretty sick. Um, these are the same, just put that in the sink. And then, um, the knife, yeah, I gotta rinse that off too, but not too much. You don't usually, you, should, you usually shouldn't have to rinse the knife off so much, you know. Yeah. And, um, yeah, the clip for the chips, because I, I just, I just made the Glock for my parents, you know, that's what I, that's what I do. They wanted me to make guac, so I made guac. My guac is the freaking best. And you can't freaking doubt me. Did I step on something? No. Okay. Um, yeah, sick. Alright. Come in and garlic. Um, in case you're wondering, I use this habanero sauce. It's not really that spicy, um, in the guac anyway, but by itself, oh boy, I could die. <laughs> I could die just having a drop of this. Habanero is pretty spicy in general, you know, you guys should know that at this point. And the chipotle goes up here as well. And the lime goes in the fridge. And then, um, the recipe goes in the... Recipe feed him a bob. And then how's the counter working? Not too bad. Just gotta put it to shape. Oh yeah, put that to shape. Alright. Well, um I guess that was my video on how to make guac or whatever. Or my recipe of guac anyway. It's not really the exact thing I was hoping for. But then again I kinda made that recipe a few years ago. I don't know how, but guac got all the way over here, so that's pretty great. Um, but yeah, that's basically the way I usually cook guac, make guac or whatever. You don't cook guac. You know what I meant, shut up. Um, but anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.